This is not a joke. This is not a game. This is the involvement of many of our ascended masters, in who I am as your commander Ashtar, of who we are of the angelic realms, of the Galactic Federation of Light to show you serious dedication that expands into the cosmos. Those unwilling to see the seriousness of this process are not focused on ascension daily, are not taking connecting to one another beyond the need to focus on LOL, LMAO, statements, into a gracious unfolding of your sacred self more. With this comes a responsibility, as sure, those that are ascending will feel more light within, look physically younger and in truth are preparing your bodies to stay looking young forever. Those that are descending are those who are making fun of these messages, those that are not seeing the light within themselves, and as a result are more focused on how to be competitive in the collapsing systems of fear. Those who are being caught in the cabal plans are those that are focused more on ego, that are more focused on their outer reality, and will ignore such transmissions and instead act as if no ascension is taking place. In truth, for such souls that are descending, it is becoming more of a struggle, in which things are not going smoothly for such individuals, but more hell-filled realms to come for such souls. It is about choice, it is never about punishing those that are choosing to stay in patterns of fear, to choose to be ruthless. It is about each soul's choice to see that with the lower realms comes the focus of punishment. With a clear presence that you feel in your inner merging more out of the levels of hate, then you are free to see that unity requires a lot of hard work on your part. This path is light-filled, it is never about learning more with such transmissions, and as to feel that the purpose of life is to learn, is to stay in the ego and to stay in non-stop, thinking, as if, thinking, will help you to ascend. No, it is actually detaching from the need to focus on this disharmonious voice to see that this is how you are risen into such an unlocking of your conscious self. These words are from the future, and are just reaching this timeline now to show you that with a balance that is entered into the cosmic connection of light, then you are free to see harmony as natural. You notice those who are trained to stay in the mind are most of humanity, are taught that competition is natural, and certainly that is immature to focus only on this false made reality. The only reality of maturity exists in the cosmic connection that you vibrate with as you detach from the need to compete, and those that are unwilling to stop being ruthless will stay in more reincarnation cycles. Sure, there will be those who will say with ego, but I don't think reincarnation is possible. How do you know? You have not died before, so that is just your opinion. It is an error in consciousness to feel that who we are of the Galactic Federation of Light, of your angelic guardians have not experienced many deaths and reincarnations, to be as wise as we are now with you. Those of you that are aware of reincarnation being real are those of you that are choosing to rise beyond all such cycles in this lifetime, to then see beyond those who will try and lead you away from such a path. Those that are controlled by the cabal are those who will trust the logical voice of reason, and these are the same souls who will never get ascension as ascension is never a mind-focused existence. With your divine connection inside, then you are free, it is not about a concept, it is not about an opinion, as you notice that this is a mind-focused to feel that it is. The mind tries to justify everything it says with logic, and says often with confusion, I don't know, and no one does, we are all lost, God help us and this is an error in consciousness. When you are God, and you are looking outside of yourself for help, it is similar to asking with ego, God are you real? You notice most souls are not seeing who they are as God in such a way, as it is strange to feel that you will do so in such a way, as you are talking to yourself in such a way. As you being multidimensional, then yes, you exist in multiple lifetimes, at once, 
And yes, the 3D mind will never be able to conceptualize this, as it is never as such, it is an inner merging out of ego, into your intuitive knowing more. Those that are choosing the lower vibrations are those who will continue to focus more on learning only, and notice most of this learning is based in fear, based in not knowing, and in adding more thought patterns to go on in the head. You notice this more as you are not focused on a voice of conditioning, and as a result you rise into a more harmonious way of being, that is filled with much awareness, and presence. It is delightful nature of being in more of the new earth, and sure, there will be those who say with ego, you do a lot of online work, you post a lot of information online, you must have a lot of time to spend on this whole ascension deal, if that is what you call it, as to feel this is not important is to choose to die. If life is important to you, and existing beyond reincarnation cycles is important to you, then you will not focus on the mind's judgments anymore, and instead take this process more seriously. Clearly this comes with more kindness, more grace, more of a fulfilling life, and in no way is it to say that none of our ground crew experience any pain, experience any disabilities physically, no, it is however to say that you are here seeing efforts beyond all such harmfulness. It is natural to experience pain while in the physical, and it is a nightmare to feel that you will keep reincarnating over and over again, with no previous opening of the lifetime before. Being free from this nightmare is where you are ascending more now, and seeing those that are descending are completely unaware of ascension, and will keep being ruthless, will keep being destructive, will keep with the same patterns of disharmonious natures. This is where you have an opportunity to see that it is never about following the crowd that are descending now, while this is clearly how it works for those that are not unfolding more of their true self. Sure, those in ego will say, all are ascending, no one is descending, I imagine, if the earth is, then so is everyone, and that is of no truth. The earth as a living life form is ascending. And due to free will, those not doing their light work daily, that are not focused on more detachment processes from the ego are descending. It is unfortunate that billions of individuals are caught in a cycle of karma, and will keep being reborn, over and over as babies, be taught the same information, based on fear. Making no errors in consciousness about it, those that are choosing duality are staying the same are not feeling more light, are not feeling more peaceful, but are noticing feeling highly stressed, having colds, and sicknesses still. It is all about a cycle in which those ascending are improving their health state, are being more upgraded into a youthful appearance physically, and are completing their volunteer work as signed up for. We stand in eternal harmony, we are the angelic realms, We are the Galactic Federation of Light.